I am starving. I've just had a rude woman in the shop. And it's another episode of Night Bites, where I go and find something to eat in the pitch black. And review the food and give it a mark out of 10 to the decimal place. Hello there, darling. Can I get your telephone number? Later. Night Bites. I've had a little tip off from the security at Central Pier. And there's a place called Urban Munchbox. It's supposed to be banging for food. So let's not hang about. We're in there, we're opposite North Pier, down there a lot. So we're gonna take it, it's not far away. It's there, Mark Kelly's, the Jeremy Cow Show of the North. That way! It's a Tuesday night. It's quite cool. Blackpool's very quiet. But hey. Means we'll go after queue. Coming up now, just off these traffic lights. We're gonna do a left. We're right smack in the middle of town now, look near the near the train station. On the holiday inn. Just doing a left here. And that brings us out, hopefully, at the urban munch box. I think it's somewhere around here. Oh no, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, it's not here. Oh, we need to turn around. We did a wrong turn in. Let's turn back. It's actually on Talbot Road, not on the side of Talbot Road. Should we make? What should we make? <coughs> so here we go. Take two, good, green light. And on the right. And it's just over here on the left. Urban lunch box. Or something, urban lunch time. So this is the place that's been recommended. So let's take the bike in. Let's order some food. And sample is goodies. So here we go, the urban munch. Box, is it called Munch Time? Urban Munch Time. Lots of combo menus. Uh, the security up on Central Pier comes here all the time, said it's banging. So uh, we're going to try the tasty kebabs with some chips. Not the cheapest deal we've had, but I don't mind paying for quality. It's nine quid for a doner kebab with my usual and some extra chips with red salt. Absolutely my favourite painting of all paintings. Look at that, the New York skyline. It's like one of those old sort of diner styles look, lovely and clean. I love the colours. Being a Nottingham Forest fan, red and white is right down my street. Spoke to the staff, family business. The guy works about 100 hours a week. Um, and security guards all said the same thing. They finish work about half a mile away. They've got to go past about 20 kebab houses. And they come here to this munch time, so I'm looking forward to this. It wasn't cheap, but if the quality is good, I don't care about the price as long as it's under a tenner. I think I found the perfect location to go and check out Urban Munch Times Donna Kebabs. It's nice and bright, we'll be able to see the food, and it's part of our cultural heritage here during the illuminations. You know what I'm saying, like a, a giant house that lights up. Oh, there's one in the distance. It was the princely sum of nine quid. But, I think I've got just the spot to go and eat it. And that spot is right here. Is this not the perfect spot to do the review? Cost a fortune in electric this episode. Um, it was £2.50 for the red chips. Uh, and then the kebab came in at £6.50. Got a nice warm pit of bread their own type of chilli sauce. So uh, let's start eating it. I cheated. I brought my own can. I had one in the fridge, so I brought my own. Nine quid. These are the chips, have a little look. Got a bit of red salt, paprika salt. Put inside it. Fresh frozen. It's nice and clean. 
can always tell if they don't change the fat very often they get that sort of like that smelly sort of um, a smelly taste to them <laughs> chips standard well cooked nice and crispy it's a good start with the law and all these takeaways now they're giving you these like wooden forks and you can't even get through anything with them so i brought my own silver fork from home See, i'm getting good at these now aren't i eh? bringing my own cutlery now let's try the meat here we go let's get a nice big piece of the meat that is a big piece of meat by the way isn't it here we go like the film v remember v them lizards who came from that planet and came to earth so they could eat us all like this lot A bit spice about it. Weren't expecting that. Got like a different kind of spice. I don't know if it's the chili, salad. Salad's nice and fresh. We've got cabbage, we've got lettuce, we've got onions. Very, very nice. Let's try a bit more of this meat. Not bad, you know. Let's try the pita bread next. Sometimes the pita breads are burnt, but this one looks uh, it's a wholemeal one. <laughs> it's about the healthiest thing on here. <laughs> Let's try a bit with that. Mm. Okay. It got recommended from the security on Central Pier. I need a drink in a couple of minutes to make my mind up. I'll just give you a little look at what's going on around here. As you can see through the week, look, there's not a lot of people about. Look how magnificent it all looks at night. I've got the birds circling over, but they won't come in. I've got protection from the seagulls. Central pier's shut, but the illuminations are still going. I think they go off about 11 in the week, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's get back to let's finish this food before the seagulls attack. Just looking at the meat, that, that spice, like it's got little chilli seeds in the meat or something, I don't know. And very, very nice, I've got to admit. Lovely colours, which I hope it's picking up. Really is quite fresh, you know. It's lovely. I'm the first thing I've eaten all day. What's on the scores? What's on the doors? The scores missed four. Okay chips not hard to get perfect but they did get them perfect uh the staff very 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 pleasant friendly he'd been there since 12 o'clock this afternoon he'll probably be there till four o'clock in the morning bless him working all those hours value for money i have had cheaper but i do understand it's in town in the tourism area the ground rents are so high but it's still under a tenner so the kebab the spicy chili bits in it it's quite nice a nice hit off their own chilli. Wow, really good that was. So the overall score, I'm trying to think, comparing it to the other ones. I'm going to give you a good score because you deserve it because it was nice. So Jamie's Rock and Soul from my channel to your shop, you get 8.5 out of 10. Well done. Fully recommend and endorse your shop to my channel. If you're coming into Blackpool, you're up at Mark Kelly's. It's just over the road around the corner like I've shown you. What do you give it, Bobby and Cyril? It's a straight 10 out of 10 from the seagull population. They're loving it. What do you think to the extra spice? So that's it, viewers. That's your night bites. At munch time. Got a great score. All it's left for me to say now is to subscribe up that side. Hit like up that side. And I'll see you all on the next exciting instalment of Night Bites with this lovely family from Preston here living their best life. Until the next time. Love yous!